Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to test a solar panel. Here's my old trusty multimeter from 1998. Just put that little plug there in the volts. Now, you look at the back and you've got basically a little chart which says a couple of different things. And what we're really looking for here is open circuit voltage, which may also be labelled as VOC. According to this, it's 21.24 volts. We'll also be looking for the ISC, which is short circuit current, uh, which is 1.24 amps, and I am not getting it to that because the way the sun is, it's got to be winter tomorrow, and of course the sun isn't too grand. So, we go for a voltage on the voltmeter that's higher than what we're looking for. So we're expecting 21.24 volts. Uh, switch it to DC, and we've got 20 volts, and then we've got 200, we'll go for 200. It goes, you know, right down to 200 millivolts, right up to 600 volts uh, for, you know, mains testing and whatnot. Um, it's got AC and DC, but we've got to switch it to DC. And we should test said panel. See the little leads here, I'm holding the wires on there. And we're getting 19.2. Now if I move that around and play around with it, uh, we may get a higher rating. If the sun comes out from behind the clouds, it always jumps around quite a lot um, when the sun suddenly comes around. And if I close it over like that and turn it over, see she drops quite dramatically. Um, I'm going to turn it back towards the sun. She jumps up a little bit. The sun is behind clouds and this is pretty crap. Basically, you often get 18 and a half, 19, you know, volts uh, with most panels. It's supposed to be 21.24 at a maximum. There's plus or minus 3% tolerance. And you've got to remember some of these figures are slightly sort of dreamed up Chinese figures and some of the plastic wrap is laying over the solar panel again, which isn't helping things. Um, so anyway, turn that off for a second. Now we'll test our ISC, our short circuit current. Now, flick it around, you've got different ones here. I've, this doesn't make a great deal of sense compared to some multimeters, but I've got 200 mega, I think, 20 mega over 10 amps, whatever that means. 2 mega and 200 pico amps. That's where your A is. We're testing the volts before, that's where your V is. Uh, some of the new ones are auto ranging, so you just got amps, volts, boom, 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 and they work themselves out. But this is an older one, it's not auto ranging with one switch for volts, one switch for amps. This has got all individual. But I'll go down to the 20 mega over 10 amps, and I've flicked my little plug from the volts and ohms to my amps. Got another amps one there, but that's a Pretty much performs the same anyway, I think. Now, I've only got a lousy 0.4. Um, if we move that around, and the thing is, the sun's half covered anyway. Before, I actually had it 1.06, I think it was, uh, when the sun started to come out. And it was sort of bright enough, but it's been a lot brighter, obviously, uh, because, you know, this time of year, the sun isn't that grand. Um... But that's actually pretty lousy because the sunlight level is really quite lousy. Um, but you know, if it's 1.24 theoretical under fantastic conditions, and I'm getting 1.06 and stuff like that, um, when it could actually be a lot brighter and would be brighter during the summer, I think this panel's basically a goer. Um, some of their other panels I've you know, easily got their rating from. Uh, but that was during days that were a lot brighter than this. Um, you know, and the clouds weren't around and, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, you know, I've still even got readings of, uh, you know, very low readings, but readings still even as the sun's going down with this panel. So um, that's how you do what you got to do to test if your panel is playing ball or a dud. And if you have an old one that somebody's given you from the 90s, they slowly lose efficiency and don't be surprised if you get terrible ratings purely because of the thing's age. But anyway, there you go.